how to use the Coinbase wallet. Hi there guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be showing you how to use the Coinbase wallet and set it up and explore it. So, to begin, obviously on your phone you can click the App Store um, button or the Play Store um, app to open it up. You then have to type in over here Coinbase. Now if you click Coinbase, there will be a few options that come up. Um, first of all is the, the first Coinbase is the, the top option which is just the uh, the crypto exchange. What we're wanting to do is get the Coinbase wallet itself which is the one just below. So they have slightly different logos as you can see here on the left but that is us ready to install it. Brilliant. Now once that's installed we'll open up the app. Now it's ready we can open up the app over here. And there we have it loading. Now, if you have already have a wallet, you can click uh, I already have a wallet, or if you want to create a new wallet, obviously you can click the top option. So to create a new wallet, we just click the top option, and we were asked to here um, make our pick our username. So I'll put in, put in an option here. There we go. I've now clicked my username. You can now allow others um, to search for your wallet with your username. You can click submit, and now we have. Um, the back backup for your wallet. So this is your recovery phrase. So look, like with every wallet, you need to make sure that you note this 12 word um, down. Um, so make sure you you note it down somewhere, probably preferably on paper, uh, pen and paper, just so it's secure. Or you can click up. There's the option to backup on iCloud. So I'll do that as well. Now we just need to create a password and click click to make sure that you understand, and then continue. Now, I ask you, of course, to protect your wallet. The extra layer of security helps prevent someone from your phone from accessing your funds. So, we want to agree to that and enable the Face ID. So, if you have, if you don't have Face ID on your phone, then of course you can just create the passcode. And now it is creating our wallet. Now, this takes a couple minutes, but here we are. Which is accept this, and we are set up. You claimed your username. Perfect. And that is us ready. We're now on the home page of our um, wallet. So this is a home page of the um, Coinbase wallet. You can see at the top there's a, a display here of your username and below that is your um, balance. And below that again there's an option to buy, swap, bridge, send or receive. You can invite your friends um, and on the very bottom page is it, it will display your assets. Um, add crypto to get started for example so you can click here to add your crypto um, but one thing it'll, it'll tell you straight away is to connect your Coinbase account so we'll be doing that in a moment there's all options here like transactions browser explorer which we'll come back to but first things first we do want to connect our Coinbase account so let's click back into that option again and let's click at the bottom connect my Coinbase account so you have the other app um, downloaded, um, so as we remember here, the Coinbase Crypto Exchange. So make sure you have that downloaded. These two apps come hand in hand. So here we go. If you have an account, just of course sign back in uh, or sign up if you don't. I've got an account, so I'm going to quickly log in. Now if we go back and click um, Connect, we can now authorize once you've logged in. And like that, we are now loading. And it says wait for a moment, and here we are. We have now connected. So I can now uh, uh, um, select an asset. So, for example, if I've got Solana, so now I can sell in Solana if I wanted to. I'm going to go back to the home page, however. Now, back into the home page, we have the option, of course, to go to our settings. Um, over here, we can add and uh, add different wallets, um, uh, additional to the one that you already have. Um, you also can activate your DAP network and choose, of course, if you want to change it to Ethereum or. BNB. But again you have your recovery phrase so if you didn't have the chance to note that down you can go back into that. I won't click that for just now and then we can just manage some general settings here. For example your actual appearance, your um, local currency uh, and some security options as well. Additionally you can also connect your account here so if you're not too sure how to connect your account you can click this option in the middle and it will allow you to actually connect that to your, um, um, your, to your wallet. So, at the top there's the option to of course buy to begin. By clicking the buy option it will load it up and says Coinbase pay at the top. It will take a moment for it to load um, as the um, database I'm sure is very busy. But once it's loaded up it says 
select an asset. So for example, if we wanted to buy Bitcoin, uh, we can click that option. And of course, it's just a case of purchasing how many, uh, how much Bitcoin you want in terms of the currency or of course the actual Bitcoin policy. Now, because I've connected my payment option um, already with my Coinbase account in the crypto exchange, it's already connected at the bottom and it says I can buy this um, connected to my um, actual bank account. If you wanted, of course, buy Ethereum, it's the same option. Again, just choosing how much you want to add on and then it will tell you again how much Ethereum that we worth. Now, I'm going to go back and there's an the option to swap as well. So, to swap, first fund your wallet. Connect your Coinbase, um, Coinbase account to, to buy or transfer crypto so we can connect the wallet. So it already has done that anyway. So once you've done that, you've now you're now ready to um, to swap. So if I click uh, Ethereum for example again, I can um, preview the buy for that. You can send and receive. So by clicking the receive option in the top right corner, you'll see you have different um, addresses uh, attached to your account, um, and uh, alongside that, there's other addresses as well. You can change to Dogecoin, Ethereum Classic, um, Bitcoin Cash as well. If we do click um, our Solana address, for example, I've copied that now, and you can now enter that as you wish to receive or send anything from this particular address. There's also the option, of course, of your username, just in case you need to send that to anyone um, or share it at the bottom, you can click uh, for anyone to access your account um, in order to send you crypto. Another quick and easy way to access the wallet um, for someone else is to use the QR code. So by clicking this, of course, you can actually um, do this in person uh, and show someone the QR code for them to scan to easily access the address. Just another um, very easy and convenient way to share your um, wallets and addresses. So the main benefit of the wallet is, of course, to manage your own currency yourself. Um, if you are wanting to actually send crypto, you would definitely be needing the Coinbase app over here. Any changes that you do do, it will be listed here in your transactions. At the moment, I don't have any transactions, so this is empty. However, it will have a, a log and a record of what you've been doing. On the bottom, you have the option again to browse. Um, this is great as well, just to allow us to look at different options and swap our, our, our tokens. You can go through the, the, the popular tab or DEX or, or DeFi, um, as well as some um, tools as well that you can use. So the good thing about this, for example, if I click Uniswap, it will begin to load. And you can see here that we can start swapping our tokens for other so tokens as well. So we can e click this um, select to to so we can click the select token option here and it allows us to click which token we want to change it to. So for example, if we want to change it to uh, Uniswap, then we just click that option and we could type in the Ethereum that we want to change uh, and uh, exchange it for. It will generate how much that would be in terms of the Unicoin app. Additional to crypto, there's the option of NFTs as well. So of course, there's the option to uh, again um, start with um, get started with your NFTs. Um, you'll need to add up some Ethereum, of course, um, but you can add crypto again at the option to to start browsing uh, and managing your NFTs as well. The same option is available as well with the DeFi. So again, you can add your crypto wallet and add again add crypto um, to start making use of the DeFi. So you might have some problem connecting um, your wallet or um, adding crypto to your wallet. To do that, we do need to go back into the other app. So over here, we have the Coinbase app here, which we've showed you already. Now, I've already got this one set up, but for you to set it up, you do have to uh, go to your settings as well and connect your details um, via via the profile and settings. You do need to verify um, your account and you'll find in your settings that you can, um, of course, um, um, verify your identity. You can also add your payment method here. There's an option to click here, add payment method, um, and you can connect to your account, um, your actual bank account, so that you can start adding funds to your wallet and the crypto exchange app. And this, this goes uh, for any application or any wallet that you have. You do need to verify your identity. Uh, this is a lot of money that we're dealing with uh, in, a lot of, in a lot of wallets and, and crypto exchanges. Um, so we need to make sure, and the apps need to make sure that everything is valid and legitimate. So just make sure you, you do. Um, sometimes it asks for your identification, um, so your local government identification, so a passport or driving license, um, just to send a photo of that, just to prove everything is legit. Once that's done, you have free reign to buy, sell and send um, all the crypto um, and uh, account um, finances that you wish. So as easy as that, you are ready. Um, so please make sure, guys, if you have any questions or you don't understand anything, um, 
comment below um, but as you see guys it's very straightforward you do just need to download the apps set up your settings and connect your payment options but at that point you're you're free to to, to exchange your cryptos quite happily uh, and manage everything as you would like to on the application just ensure that you do have the two applications so that is uh, the coinbase wallet uh, and the actual coinbase um, app itself um, just so you can um, you know, interchange um, crypto out with your wallet and of course internally within your wallet as well quite easily. Uh, it, it does ensure that way that you have a very straightforward and user friendly um, and easy to use uh, method um, of controlling all your applications and your cryptocurrencies. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure, you, as I say, you like and comment any questions that you have. Um, make sure you, you click any um, um, additional videos that I can show you for tutorials uh, and make sure that you subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.